Hey y'all, welcome to Camara's Kitchen. Today I'm showing you how to make a New Orleans style smoked turkey, chicken, and sausage gumbo. Guaranteed clean bowls. You're gonna be licking your lips after trying this recipe. Now let's go ahead and get started by putting uh, one pound of smoked turkey wings in a pressure cooker. I'm going to cook this for an hour and 10 minutes until it is falling off the bone. This is going to give us a nice broth. Now, while this is pressure cooking, we are gonna get started making a dry roux. I prefer to do a baked roux just because it's easier and I don't have to keep stirring it for like 45 minutes straight. So into my cast iron skillet, I'm going to be adding three cups of all-purpose flour. Now this is way more flour than you need for this recipe, but if you are going to be going ahead and baking a roux, you may as well have extra, okay? If you're going to put it in the work, you may as well have some left. Now my oven is preheated to 400 degrees. Every 15 minutes, I am going to go in and I'm going to thoroughly stir this dry roux. After 15 minutes, this is how it looks. You will have some clumps, but that does not matter. You just keep whisking it around. You're gonna see it progressively get darker. Now it took in total about an hour and 45 minutes for my roux to come to the color that I wanted it to be. However, if you do this on a baking sheet lined with foil where the flour is laid flat, then this is going to happen quicker. Actually, it could even happen within one hour. You could get the color that you want. The, but the point is, is that you must constantly go in and stir this because if you do not, it will burn. And when you burn this, you're going to have to throw everything away. Okay. I am trying to get the color that is somewhat similar to cinnamon. Um, now, I think I got relatively close, but then I got a little skirt, okay, because I was like, I ain't trying to burn this. Now, if you're from New Orleans, let me know. Should I have pressed my flour on a little bit further and cooked it a little bit more? Um, I'm just going to sift out all of the lumps, and I'm going to store the extra in a Ziploc bag. Now you can also use this dry mix to make etouffee and other dishes where you want a roux. So it's gonna come quite in handy. Now, of course, at this point, my smoked turkey is done. It's falling off the bone. And I'm gonna start prepping my vegetables on this beautiful cut cutting board that was sent to me by DB Made It from Instagram. Guys, this is one of the best cutting boards I have ever used. It's like an inch and a half thick. It's made with these beautiful woods. He makes them himself. So I want you guys to check out DB made it on Instagram you can find his link in the description box he also sent me a stand in order to put up the cutting board as well as some coasters and even a board butter to keep the board conditioned this is top quality custom cutting board for you know a wedding or a friend a housewarming gift y'all better check the brother out and when you do tell him that Kamira's kitchen sent you over there okay if you're a small business or just a loyal subscriber to Kamira's Kitchen and you want to send me something, check out my PO box in the description box. You can also support this channel through Cash App. Thank you guys so much. First off, I am going to be using some of the broth from the smoked turkey to make up the roux. Now that the roux is dry, I'm going to just hydrate it with the broth so that I don't get all these lumps, okay? You do not want a lumpy roux, honey. That is going to be, that's going to be bad, okay? So mix this all together until it's nice and thin like this. Then I have already cut up about a pound and a half of chicken thighs into bite-sized pieces, and I'm gonna season them with three-fourths of a of teaspoon, okay, of this Creole seasoning, as well as one tablespoon of salt-free Cajun seasoning, okay? And then you are going to mix this up well, and you're gonna place this to the side. Now, typically, a gumbo would have a lot of oil in it because you have to cook the roux in that oil, but instead, I'm just gonna be adding two tablespoons. I'm adding one tablespoon of grass-fed butter and one tablespoon of a organic lard. And that organic lard and butter really do add a different taste. I'm gonna cook this sausage until it's nice and brown, and baby, this not burnt this flavor, okay? The real cooks know, okay, when it's too far. Trust me, this ain't too far, okay? I cook this for about four minutes, and I let it get a good color, and this added a ton of flavor to this gumbo. Next goes in all the chicken. I am going to pre-toast the chicken. It doesn't have to be cooked all the way, but you definitely want a color on it. It takes about four minutes because you want those spices to get toasted. Then I'm gonna take that out, removing, leaving the oil. 
and then I am going to put in all of my vegetables, okay? Y'all know that holy trinity, amen, okay? The onion, the celery, the peppers, all of that. I'm going to add a little bit of Tony's just so it will help sweat the vegetables, okay? And then I'm going to cook this for about three minutes, just letting all that flavor come together and letting it toast in that oil. You also want to scrape the pan because you want to get that fond off the bottom. Then I'm going in with four cloves of minced garlic, two bay leaves, one more tablespoon of salt-free Cajun seasoning, and I'm going to mix this up and let this toast real well. Now, I know some of y'all don't be playing with the okra, but okra is very good for you. And I think it tastes great. Okay, so I'm putting in two cups of okra. It may be a lot for some people, but I'm going to tell y'all right now, I like that okra. Okay, then I'm going to add all the meat back in, um, as well as that smoked turkey. Can't forget about that. That's basically just going to fall completely apart in this gumbo. And then I am going to use the broth that I cooked the smoked turkey in as the broth for this recipe. You just kind of gauge how brothy you want your gumbo to be. Okay, I didn't measure this. I just poured it in so it felt right. And then I'm going to put in the roux that I have mixed up. Now, I have only used half of a cup of this baked roux. However, you could really add a full cup, even a cup and a half. I just used a half of a cup because I wanted to watch my flour intake, which is why you won't see my gumbo quite as thick as some other people's. But that is okay for me. If you want your thicker, use a full cup to a cup and a half of the roux. I'm going to put in one tablespoon of better than bouillon that is low sodium because you don't want too much salt in this and I am going to let this come up to a boil. I will then scrape off whatever whatever that white stuff is okay that got to go and then I'm going to let mine simmer pretty much uncovered to half covered for about 40 minutes because I do want my broth to reduce. If you don't want your broth to reduce very much just simmer it covered and then your gumbo is done baby. But to top it off, I'm going to add a little bit of gumbo filet. I'm using about two teaspoons. You can use this to taste. I know some people don't like the flavor, okay, but I've cut my heat off and I've stirred it in and you're going to see that your gumbo is going to start getting a little bit thicker. Now, this was an okay thickness for me, but of course you can reduce the broth, increase the roux, increase the gumbo filet to get the thickness that you want. Now, I made a cute little rice ball, okay, in my food, y'all. We got the presentation, okay, you know, we got to do presentation. And then I'm going to go in and just do, you know, just a generous amount of this gumbo. Baby, me and my family tow this up. Like, you know how you eat when you ain't even trying to be cute. Mm -hmm, that's how it was now let me know in the comments what else you would like me to make what requests you have and always remember that i love you and jesus love you and i pray that you guys will just be totally blessed and i know that i'm going to see you next time at camira's kitchen goodbye god bless